Here's the first one, and that's why. Why pay the price? Why work this hard? Why go this far? Why try to learn this much? Why try to do it all? Why try to see it all? Why try to have it all? Why do it? Why learn it? Why study? Why put yourself out? Why try to take on this much responsibility? Why develop yourself to the full? Why try to become all that you can possibly become? Why try to earn as much as you can earn? Share as much as you can share? Develop every skill you possibly can? See every human you possibly can? Go to every class you possibly can? Touch everybody you possibly can? Why do that much? Why go that far? Why share that much? Why give that much away? Why try to see everything? Why try to do everything? Why try to become everything? That's a good question, why? And you're the only one personally that can answer that question for yourself. You've got to have your own list of why. Here's what I want you to do when you go home after you've left this extravaganza. Work on your list of why. You know, I don't know what challenges you might have in going over the stuff we've been going over in terms of amending your philosophy or going back and, you know, redoing some stuff that you might have messed up. But face all your fears. That's how you conquer them. Don't dismiss them. Just face them. Say, here's what I'm afraid of. I wonder what I could do to change that. Here's the next one. Exercise your willpower to change direction. You don't have to keep doing what you've done the last six years if it's not yielding you the benefits you want. In the seminar I do for Jerry, my mentor helped me to review the last six years so I would and repeat those errors the next six. See, if you're a goose, you have no choice to do the next six like you did the last six. But if you're not a goose, here's what you can do. Pick a new destination and start going that way. You say, well, I've done this for the last two years. I'll probably have to do it another two. And the answer is no, not in a million years. Now, you can change one little degree at a time, or if you want to, you can revolutionize the whole thing. Who says you couldn't revolutionize the whole thing in a week's time and start a brand new direction that will most assuredly help you arrive in a brand new place a year from now, three years from now? No, no telling five years from now where you could arrive. And my third question is, why not you? Why not you with good self-esteem? Why not you starting to change and setting goals? Why not you starting to make progress toward financial independence? Uh, if I can do it, you can do it. I wish I had a lot more testimonials here today besides mine. A whole steady stream that would come by and tell you their story. Someone who started with nothing, finally run a big enterprise. A mother who was on welfare, now she owns her own business. In addition to my story, I wish I had a lot more. And if all of them told their story, guess how they would probably wind up their story? They'd probably say, just like me, why not you? If we can read, you can read. If we can change, you can change. If we can figure it out, you can figure it out. If we can turn it around, you can turn it around. There isn't anything you can't accomplish. That's what those testimonials would say. And so I want to say it to you personally. Why not you? You've got the brains. You've got the, the stamina. You've got the vitality. You've got the interest. You've got your life ahead of you. You've got the future. You can do it. If anybody can do it, you can do it. If one of us can do it, hey, we all can do it. Here's why we don't really reach into the future. We're trapped either by regret of the past or the routine of the present. So busy with the routine of the present, we don't give much thought to designing the future. Or trapped by the past with regrets of past losses and past failures and past mistakes, and we relive it over and over again. Not to the benefit of changing it for the future, but just because, you know, we feel that our lives have been less than favorable simply because of all the things that's happened to us in the past. But here's the real key, is to spend some time, and usually we don't do it until someone comes by and offers the suggestion. That's why meeting the right person at the right time, attending the right class, listening to the right sermon, having a conversation with the right person, sometimes can totally change the direction of your life. And you're never the same after that personal contact, or sitting in that class, or reading that book, or coming face to face with someone who says, hey, Disgust says, I've had it. What an important day that could be. I met a beautiful, powerful, accomplished executive lady in New York. The company invited me to come in. This lady was a vice president, extraordinary lady. I got to know her and I, I found out her story. I said, how did you get here? Big income. And she never went to high school, never went to college, never went to university. I said, how did you get here? Negative, powerful income. She said, well, let me tell you part of the scenario. She said, when I was a young mother a few years ago, she said, one day I asked my husband for $10. And he said, what for? She said, before that day was over, I decided I would never, ever ask again. She said, I started studying opportunity, found it, 
took the classes, put myself through the school, did the scenario. Now I'm vice president. I make a lot of money. And she said, I kept my promise. I've never, ever had to ask again. Or new life of any kind. It has to come from the work. It comes from the labor. In fact, labor was so important, here was the original formula for labor. If you have forgotten it, remind yourself for your notes. Six days of labor and what? One day of rest. Now it's important not to get those numbers mixed up. Why is that? Here's why. Why not five, two? I don't know, maybe five and two would be okay. If God would have thought of five and two, he might have made it five and two. But you can't think of everything when you're putting one of these together. But maybe one of the reasons for six, one, jot this down now. If you rest too long, the weeds take the garden. Not to think so is naive. As soon as you've planted, the busy bugs and the noxious weeds are out to take it. So you can't linger too long in the rest mode. You've got to go back to work. Six days of work then rest and spirituality and friendship and change of pace and then go back over the last six days what did i do what did i miss who did i miss what happened so that i can invest those corrections in the next six days of higher productivity why not you starting to change and setting goals why not you starting to make progress toward financial independence uh, if i can do it you can do it i wish i had a lot more testimonials here today besides mine a whole steady stream that would come by and tell you their story. Someone who started with nothing, finally run a big enterprise. A mother who was on welfare, now she owns her own business. In addition to my story, I wish I had a lot more. And if all of them told their story, guess how they would probably wind up their story? They'd probably say, just like me, why not you? If we can read, you can read. If we can change, you can change. If we can figure it out, you can figure it out. If we can turn it around, you can turn it around. There isn't anything you can't accomplish. That's what those testimonials would say. And so I want to say it to you personally. Why not you? You've got the brains, you've got the, the stamina, you've got the vitality, you've got the interest, you've got your life ahead of you, you've got the future. You can do it. If anybody can do it, you can do it. If one of us can do it, hey, we all can do it. And now here's my last question. Why not now? This is a good time to set your goals, work on yourself, work on your skills, having a good plan for your money and for your life and for your future. Why not now? Decision-making is a life-changing day. If you went home today and in the next few days cleaned up a list of decisions, it could furnish enough inspiration for the next five years, 10 years. What an inspiring day, the day you can bring yourself to decide. And here's the third one, desire, wanting too bad enough. Who knows the mystery of that? We don't know. But here's something I do know. Sometimes desire waits for a trigger waits for something to happen. Who knows what the happening may be? A song, the lyrics, a movie, the dialogue, a seminar, a sermon, an experience, confrontation with an enemy, a conversation with a friend who finally levels with you. Whatever the experience it is, it's so valuable. And here's my best advice. Welcome all experiences. You never know which one is gonna turn everything on. Don't put up the walls. The same wall that keeps out disappointment keeps out happiness. Take down the wall, go for the experience, let it teach you.